Today, our topic is Bioremediation in Transgenic Plants, Principle and Process of Biotechnology, Unit 8, Chapter 4 in Botany. Bioremediation. Bio means living organism. Remediation means a remedial measure to control pollution. So, using microorganisms, the pollution are controlled. That process is called bioremediation. Okay. So, it can be defined as the use of microorganisms or the plants to manage the environmental pollution. So, the microorganism and plants are used in controlling the environmental pollution. That is called bioremediation. So, it is used to clear the waste. The waste may be waste water, industrial waste and solid waste. So, these types of waste can be cleared using bioremediation. So, bioremediation is a is a process is applied to the removal of oil, petrochemical residues, pesticides or heavy metals from soil or groundwater. So, on what be, on, uh, in which and all the bioremediation can be used? Removal of oil, petrochemical residues, pesticides, heavy metals from soil and groundwater. For this purpose, the bioremediation process is used. So, in many cases, the bioremediation is less expensive and more sustainable than other physical and chemical methods of remediation. So, the bioremediation is less in expense. So, the cost of using bioremediation process is less compared to the physical and the chemical methods of remediation. Okay. So, bioremediation is eco-friendly and lower concentration of, there is no contamination, the contamination is less. So, because of that, it is an eco-friendly and it is more effective than other methods. The, st the strategies for bioremediation in soil and water can be as follows. So, there are some methods to uh, use this bioremediation in soil and water. We will see the below. That is as follows, we will see. Use of indigenous microbial pollination, population, not pollination, population as indicator species for bioremedial, that is remediation process. So, you can e use the local microbes to indicate the bioremediation process is needed here. Bioremediation with the addition of adapted or designed microbe inoculants. So, bioremediation can be done with the help of addition of the inoculants. That is artificially made inoculants can be, that is microbial inoculants can be used in bioremediation. Some of the examples of bioremediation technologies are phytoremediation. So, use of plants to control the environmental pollution or to degrade the environmental pollutants. Mycoremediation, use of fungi to control the environmental pollutants. Okay. Bioventing. So, it increases. This is a process to increase the oxygen or air flow to degrade the environmental pollutants. Bioleaching. Use of microorganisms in solution. So, in solutions to recover the metallic that is metal pollutants from the contaminated sites. Bioaugmentation. So, selected microbes are taken to speed up the degradable process. So, phytoremediation means use of plants. Mycoremediation means use of fungi. Bioventing means increases the oxygen content. Okay. Bioventing means increase of oxygen content. Bioleaching means microorganism in solution. And bioaugmentation means selected microbes to speed up the degradation process. Compositing. Compositing means the solid waste is composed using the microbes and acting as a manure to enrich the plant growth. Bio, that is bioremediation process in compost. The microbes are used to make the solid waste into manure. Rhizofiltration. So, the metals are the degradation of organic compounds with the help of rhizosphere microorganisms. Rhizosphere means 
soil microorganisms okay with the help of that the metals are degradable rhizostimulation so this stimulates the plant growth with the help of rhizosphere soil and it shows the better growth and the due to the better growth of the plant using this rhizostimulation the contaminated that is the toxic material will be reduced in the soil okay and there are limitations of the usage of bioremediation process only biodegradable contaminated can be transformed using this bioremediation process so the bio the bio the bio, biodegradable content only can be degraded by this process okay bioremediation process must be specifically made in accordance to the conditions at the contamination sites so there should be some process which should be specially made so that you have to followed but it is it has some problems to follow there so small scale test on a pilot scale must be performed before carrying out the procedure at the contaminated site so first you have to done a small that is a for example in a maths you will put a in a geometry you will put a rough diagram no like that first you have to do it fairly that is rough roughly one type and after that you have to do this that is you have to implement in large scale so first you have to do it in small scale what is the results come the result is positive then you can move on to the next that is large scale so that is a big problem for them the use of genetic engineering technology to create genetically modified microorganisms or a consortium of microbes for the bioremediation process has great potential so genetically engineered microorganisms or symbiotic consortium of microbes means the symbiotic the symbiotic microorganisms are used here to get this bioremediation process with high yield and high potential so you to, for getting to this you have to create more genetically modified organism or the symbiotic animals that is the symbiotic relationship microorganism has to be selected if you select these organism means the bioremediation process is in full progress but it is difficult to do this okay so due to these uh, uh, things there is the limitation of usage of bioremediation process so hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel